Hello, we're back for another episode about uh, my lovely, lovely holiday, a uh, two week long holiday that I went on when my girlfriend came over to England that I hadn't seen for two and a half very, very long years. Um, so this time I'm going to be telling you about the next place we moved to after the beach, after Western Supermare. Um, we went to a place called Malvern Hills. Um, and this is very different to the seaside. There's no ocean, there's no sand, um, there's just hills. <laughs> um, it's sort of like, uh, like more inside, like in English countryside. There is a very nice town, um, called, I think it's called Great Malvern, the town. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Um, so there's a very nice town called Great Malvern. And apart from that, you have the Malvern Hills, which are very, it's like a very long line of hills that are quite tall. I can't remember the height. I think it might have been about 400 meters, which is reasonably tall, not not a mountain. But um, I, we climbed them at some point and it felt like a mountain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were quite steep at some point, and it was the weather was quite nice, um, and I had completely the wrong clothing on because I wasn't expecting the weather um, to be that warm. Uh, so I was overdressed and too hot, unfortunately. But um, apart from that, it was a really nice uh, experience. Like the view from the top of the Malvern Hills on a clear day. It's really nice. You can see so far, like such a long way in the distance. And if you get to the highest point, you get like a, a 360 degree view. You can see all the way around, um, like the, the land, you know, <laughs> the land of England. And uh, it's just a really nice, nice view to see. And it looks very, very English, I guess. Lots of green, lots of small towns. Um, and then you can see all of these mountains, not mountains, hills, sorry. You can see all of these hills, the Malvern Hills. It's just a, a really pleasant walk. Um, and then we went to the town, I think, after that. We went to the town and walked around the town. And the town was very nice as well, like quite a traditional English town. I will, of course, put some pictures up of the hills and the town and um, those kind of things. Like like I said before, if it's a really nice picture, if I think, ah, I like this picture a lot, that will go up on Instagram. Otherwise, I might just put it up on Twitter if it's just something I want to show you just because it's interesting, but the picture's not so good. Uh, that will be up on Twitter. Um, what else? What else did we do? Well, we stopped in another Weatherspoons hotel um, because they're... They're quite convenient. Uh, you always know what you're going to get. Like the menu is pretty much the same everywhere. And the prices, I think it's the cheapest pub in England, Weatherspoons, definitely by far. Like some of the pubs I went into later on, you can pay like four pounds, four pound, more than four pounds sometimes for a pint of beer. And I think the cheapest pint in uh, Weatherspoons is probably about just under, just under two pounds. So yeah, you can see how cheap they are. Um, but the food's cheap as well. And the food is like, it's okay. <laughs> it, I wouldn't say it was amazing, but it, it's decent. It's, it's good enough. So um, they're quite convenient. And it's nice that you've got a pub downstairs because it's, uh, you know, handy if you want to go and have a drink, uh, which we did uh, every night. <laughs> I think we tried lots of things. I mean, me, I mainly drink ale. Um, I'm not such a fan of lager, which I know all of you listeners who don't live in England um, don't really know what ale is. But um, if you get the chance, well, maybe you do. Maybe you have like craft beer in your own country. But I know there's a lot of countries that only have lager. So when someone says beer, they mean lager. And that's a shame because lager's not that great to be honest. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay on a hot day. But um, if you want the real flavor, you need to go for the ales. 
Anyway, um, so I, I was mostly drinking that. I think my girlfriend had some um, wine at times, maybe some gin as well. I don't know. We tried lots of things, I think. But I tend to avoid the, like, like cocktails. I'm not so bothered about cocktails and the shots. I'm not, I don't care about shots. I think shots are for people who don't like alcohol, that don't like the taste and they want to get drunk. That's not me. Um, I might get drunk, but that's because I enjoy the taste. That's different. Um, anyway, that was another nice pub, uh, the pub we stopped in, in Malvern Hills. And it was, again, like a very traditional looking building. I've got, I've got a picture of it that I can put up to show you. But, um, and inside it was really nice as well. Lots of, lots of big rooms, lots of small little areas to sit in, um, really, really gigantic windows, um, really huge windows. And you could look out and you could see like this really nice scenery, um, from these windows. You could see far into the distance. So that was a nice experience. We sat there eating our breakfast at this big table in front of this really tall window. Um, with this really nice view and it well it, it should have been nice but it was hot <laughs> so like <laughs> the sun was burning us too much and we had to move away into a different seat eventually um, but that, you know, it, I can't complain though because it's 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 nice having a bit of sunshine uh, in England when you're on holiday um, we went to a park also whilst we were there we found a very nice park in Malvern and went to a train station which was like a really traditional looking train station but unfortunately it was um, undergoing some work there was some like construction work being done to it some repair work um, so it didn't look quite as nice as it should have looked um, but that, that's about it I think there's not a lot to do uh, in Malvern I don't think so we only spent one day there and then we headed back home um, back to my house and I think what did we do the next day the next day we, I, maybe I didn't do anything maybe I just um, just relaxed a bit I did do a bit of driving um, on the way down to the uh, to the the beach that we went to but I think on the way back my father did all of the driving Um yeah, so I think the next day we just relaxed a bit or maybe we went to a park. I know we went to a park at some point and we went to um, a shopping centre like in Birmingham and did like those sort of things or just went shopping or did something, you know, like really basic. Basic? Like, you know, like not a proper, not going out, not a proper day out. Um, but the next sort of thing we did like proper day out thing was on the Monday and that's when we went to Alton Towers theme park um, and I've been wanting to take my girlfriend to a theme park for a long time and she's wanted to go for a long time but I've realized I realized something her idea of a theme park and my idea of a theme park are quite different um, to me a theme park is like this place that's got all of these quite scary rides in um, but I think for her it's a place that doesn't have such scary rides in so when when I say theme park to her um, she thinks of something like Disney World Disney World? Disneyland? Whatever it's called <laughs> that place with Mickey Mouse um, she thinks of that but like um, when I when I say theme, theme park I think of like you know we want some scary rides with like lots of loops and twists that are very fast. That's my idea of a theme park. So like in Japan, they have um, somewhere, it's like a theme park called uh, Fuji Q, I think. Q? Q, I think. Um, and that's more similar to what I was thinking of. That's more similar to um, Alton Towers theme park, which I think, I think Alton Towers is the biggest theme park um, in the UK, but I could be wrong. There's... What there's another one is Thorpe Park. There's Drayton Manor Park, which is nearer to me but a bit smaller, I think, than uh, Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. I've never been to. Anyway, anyway, um, Alton Towers. I should talk about that next. But we're at the end of this episode, 
So I'll probably talk about it next episode and then move on to the next holiday we went on because we sort of went on like two holidays. Um, so yeah, I'll start talking about that as well. Anyway, I hope it's interesting and I hope it's um, like good um, English listening practice for you. Uh, listening to all of the stuff that we got up to um, during the the two weeks that my girlfriend was here. Until next time, bye-bye.